Hi everybody, this is Trish from Art Journal Junkie. Today I'm going to work in my art journal with some acrylics and collage and I'm going to do the King Protea, which is the South African national flower. So I start off by gessoing the pages of my journal. It's just my small um, Moleskine or Moleskina or Moleskin. I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but at any rate, it's my small journal, which I must say is getting rather fat, and so I've had to start using masking tape down the center to um, support the spine. As I said, I'm going to work with some acrylics. So I've taken out my liquid gloves, which is a miraculous uh, hand sanitizer, cleaner, oiler, you name it. And what it does is it helps um, prevent the acrylics from um, messing up your nail polish, of course. <laughs> So I've got a couple of different acrylics, um, different brands. There's Amsterdam, there's the uh, Americana Deco Art, and of course, I think Dimensions, is, it might be Mont Blanc, uh, Mont Blanc, it might be Montmartre, or it could be a South African brand. At any rate, it's a medium yellow, a nice sort of teal turquoise, and then a deep blue. And I'm just using my fingers, smudging as I go, giving them a wipe so that I don't um, put far too much of one color into the other and that I don't mess it up. And I had a little bit of fun playing with the paint again. Right, so I've blitzed it with my dryer and I fussy cut around some protea pictures that I found on Google. Just a word of warning is if you find something that's copyrighted, don't use it. But um, I think it's generally acceptable to print out some pictures that you find on Google and then of course use them in your artwork provided you're not selling it. So I've used some Mod Podge to secure them down to my page and then obviously cleaned it up. And here I'm going to use some texture paste over a stencil that I cut myself on my uh, Silhouette Cameo. I found this poem some time ago and I wrote it down. And I didn't know who the author was because there was no name attached to it. At any rate, I went searching the other day and I found that it's actually a South African lady who lives in Australia. Her name, if I remember correctly, is Veronica, Veronique, uh, Vonita, Vonita, that's her name. And she wrote this beautiful poem, which I hope she has no objection to, but it's just in my own journey and it, I thought it was just so delightful. So, oopsie, you know, Homemade stencils sometimes are a little bit lightweight. Never, nevertheless, I um, didn't need to have the entire poem on my page. It was merely just for texture and also to give it a little bit of interest. So once I'd smushed the, yep, smushed the texture paste through, I removed the stencil and let it dry completely. You'll see I uh, take away a little bit that's sort of messed up there on the left hand side and you'll notice there is a bit at the bottom don't worry I do get rid of that after I switched my camera off good idea with texture paste is to let it dry properly I gave it a blitz with my heat gun um, yeah it didn't dry it completely I actually had to leave it for a couple hours then what I did to make sure that it actually set properly is I gave it a coat of Mod Podge now, the only thing I don't like about the Mod Podges on top is that, of course, I was going to use my new Prismacolor pencils and I couldn't do that. So, you know, as South Africans, they say in Afrikaans, a boer maak a plan, which means a farmer makes a plan. I'm not a farmer, I'm an Englishman, a South African Englishman, and there's another bit to that that says a boer maak a plan ma engelse man se plan werk which is the farmer makes a plan but the englishman's plan works so i grabbed my pencils I, I, I beg your pardon i grabbed my pastels and started playing around with them 
again not getting the um, effect that I really wanted I tried using a baby wipe that sort of didn't work either and then I thought you know what pastels are pastels they've got a texture of their own they've got a feel of their own just get going and put it on so here you'll see just putting it on so I'm going to leave you with a little bit of music while I smush around and add colors and outline the proteas themselves I uh, hope you enjoy it and I'll catch you at the back end of the video So once I was finished with the pastels, I tried to use a gel pen, but again I struggled a little bit, it sort of was coming and going and doing its own thing. Um, and I think that could be because of the actual pastel on top, pastel on top of the uh, Mod Podge. So I grabbed out a Posca pen. Now Posca pens are brilliant, they paint um, based markers. And I really love them. I have found there are different sizes as well. So I think if I'm right, I use the smallest one to outline. And you've got to give them a good shake just to get the paint mixed and down through to the tip. And away I went, outlining and whatnot. Right, so I've grabbed some gesso and I'm going to just water it down a little bit as you'll see I take a bit out put it onto my craft sheet and water it down with um, just a wee bit of water and I'm using a very small paintbrush and all I'm going to do is make a few splotches in white here and there just to break the solid color of the background And there you have it, my completed King Protea in my journal, a reminder of the country I was born in and the country I love so much. So I hope you've enjoyed the short video. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. And come on over to Art Journal Junkie on Facebook. You'll find me there with a whole bu bunch of other really lovely people. And join us, share your art as well. And I hope you have um, a wonderful day further. And I'll see you soon. Take care and bye for now.